Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, once again for another overview video, which is part of the 2023 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series, where I'm showcasing some more anime I have in this shelf here. So today, last time we already take a look back on part four of my anime collection, we're going to be doing part five of my anime collection, especially like this shelf there, where I have like Robotech, Ranma, One Half, Outlaw Star, uh, Record of Lotus War, Outlanders, and stuff like that as well. And also, there's One Piece in there as well. So let's dive right into this today on the Physical Media Video Library series. Welcome back. In this video, which is part 5 of my anime collection, I'm going to be showcasing some of my anime I have right here on DVD. Starting from there all the way to where Robotech is there. So, there's some more anime on top right there in the previous video. Which, if you haven't seen it, I'll put the link to the, to the video if you want to go check it out at your leisure at this one. I have some more down there. Because I had to move some out of the way because I want to showcase some more DVDs on here as well. So let's dive into the ones of the anime of what we got here. Starting right here, right now. Let's do this. The first one here I got is... I think I got this DVD at a uh, flea market for only $1. And that is... Uh, one Piece. This is uh, the DVD I have right here. This is actually Volume 3, and this could be a bootleg DVD. It's only dubbed in Japanese, but it has English and Chinese subtitles on here. In case you're wondering as well. Yeah. You can tell, though. It's only dubbed in Japanese, but there's some English and Chinese subtitles on here. Yeah, because... This is something basically you can find at a thrift store or at a flea market. But this was only like $1 at a flea market, in case you're wondering as well. And of course, I have another One Piece DVD right here. And I think this is the, the Voyage set on DVD. I got this at a library book sale. This could be a former library copy of this on DVD from a different library in case you're wondering as well. Yeah, it's a former library copy from a um, a different library I've been that I found as well. This is a good easy find to find this DVD as well. And this is season 2, the first voyage on there, which this these episodes are uncut and unedited, which this basically covers episodes 55 54 to 66 on this two disc set on here. These are the Voyage ones as well. I need to get more DVDs of One Piece on here. Yeah, this is based on a 100 volume manga by... What's the name of the... I couldn't remember. However, this DVD has a marathon play on there. Yeah, you could watch it as a marathon play if you like as well. In case you're wondering as well. However, One Piece has like over 100 volumes on here. I need to get more of those as well. And another Studio Ghibli film on DVD from G Kids I have right here, and that is Only Yesterday. This is a groundbreaking film on here from the, the creators that brought you The Tale of Princess Kaguya and Spirited Away. This is the only Studio Ghibli film directed by Isao Takahata. Hayao Miyazaki produced this movie on there. Yeah, this is actually my first G Kids release on DVD, which is in conjunction with Universal Pictures on here. However, it says Studio Ghibli DVD right there. Huh, pretty nice. However, the bonus features on the DVD has the making of Only Yesterday, behind the scenes with the voice cast, and the interview with the English dub team, and on this DVD content like this. 
Yeah. I had to buy this one. It's been a while since I've seen this movie, though. It has its moments. Overall, something I need to rewatch as well. And this is long out of print, and this is actually one of my favorite OVAs from the 80s on here, and that is Outlanders. This is my favorite OVA based on a manga by Joji Manabe, who's known for Capricorn and Caravan Kid as well. Outlanders, in my opinion, y'all know what it is. I ain't going to talk about it, but you know what that OVA is. I ain't going to talk about it, but y'all know what it is. However, because this is actually from the animation studio that brought you Mock Go 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 Speed Racer, obviously, which is in conjunction with AIC Studio as well. Lots of fun. If you like stuff like either Yurisei Yatsura or Heavy Metal, you'll probably dig this OVA because it has some moments on there. Overall, I... I love the sci-fi aspect to it. Yeah, because this is newly remastered and redubbed. And th by the way, this is going out of print, by the way. Collector's items these days. This is my most valuable thing to own as well. But I'll just wait for the blu Like, a, if this will ever get a proper Blu-ray release by Discotech Media on here, that'll get you going as well. I've read good things about the manga. However, the manga only lasted about eight volumes on here as well. And of course, the greatest of all anime that I l enjoyed out here, and that is Outlaw Star. I bought these at a recycled bookstore a while back, back in 2018, because this is something I really need to add it to the anime collection. However, there is a complete series set from Funimation not to long ago on both the DVD and the Blu-ray. But these ones I got were all just completed. So that's how many episodes are there? Uh, 26 episodes. So it's all 26 episodes on there. This is my favorite series. I could put it right next to Trigun and Cowboy Bebop on there. If you ever loved watching late 90s anime on here as well. And of course I have... Pat Labor, the Mobile Police TV series. This is the anime test drive DVD edition, which only has two episodes. There is also the DVD volume set from uh, Central Park Media on here. This is the old Central Park Media releases on there, which is one of those like anime test drive DVDs, because I got this a while back at my local anime store on there. Yeah, because... It's from the director that brought you Ghost in the Shell, Momoru Oshii, as well. And he also directed Angel's Egg and Jinro the Wolf Brigade, as well. However, this is a boot, Chinese bootleg set, but it's only dubbed in Japanese with English subtitle and Chinese subtitles, and that is Peacemaker Kiragain, uh, another Japanese anime series. This is a bootleg set, by the way. It's a Chinese bootleg set, but it's only dubbed in Japanese, but with English and Chinese subtitles on here. However, there were versions of this in, released on DVD by ADV Films, if I'm not mistaken, though. I'm wondering if this series will ever get a complete series set on Blu-ray. Hey, if I could track it down. Yeah. It says chapters 1 to 24, so th those are basically the episodes, obviously. Yeah, this comes in a see-through case like this as well, because I have them right there as well. Because there was a box set of this from ADV Films as well. However, I do have one of the Pokemon movies I have right here on DVD, and that is Pokemon Jirashi Wishmaker on DVD. This was the last anime DVD I bought at a thrift store, because... My local thrift store, which has now cl been out of business, um, has been closed, though, because this was the last anime DVD. I do have some Pokemon on VC right there in this section, but we're going to take a look at that next time as well. Because this DVD has the all-new plus never-before-seen Pokemon short on there. However... It was never shown on television or in theaters, 
This DVD never has the, the Japanese audio dub on here. But it's only in English, which is... This is actually a Miramax Home Entertainment release, by the way. And this has a Make-A-Wish music video on here. And this has a set-top trivia game on here. And the message from the director, Mr. Yuyama. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, especially to the... Who has... has who, who has for every... One at there, you know. I grew up watching Pokemon when I remember. I remember seeing Pokemon on uh, Cartoon Network or Kids WB uh, or something. Yeah, because poke. Yeah, I yeah Pokemon was my childhood though because I remember grew up watching Pokemon when it was on Cartoon Network as well, like the Indigo League series. Because you know Pokemon was my childhood when I remember seeing it on Cartoon Network, and I, of course I have Princess Nine. It's like an all-girls baseball anime series. However, I need to get the remaining volumes of them on DVD. Because I have to get more remaining volumes of them. You know, it's been a while since I saw this on a while back as well. And of course, another OVA right here. From Media Blasters I have right here. And that is Puppet Princess. This is actually one of those, like... I guess you have to call this, like, a ninja OVA or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the old Edo, Edo period. This takes... I guess you have to call, like, how this basically, of, for whatever I like to call this, as, like, a... an and One of those anime series that... Or, no, it's not really a series, but it's actually an OVA series on here. No, it's not, not a series. Actually, it's an OVA on there. Yeah, this is a part of the martial arts and action on there. For an OVA like Puppet Princess on there as well. I mean, I just love the aspect of the animation like this. However, this was animated by Tokyo Movie Shinsha. TMS Entertainment, obviously. Because... This is the whole thing of how I wanted to come by on this as well. Yeah, because you all know what it is. I ain't going to talk about it, but you all know what Puppet Princess is. Because it's just one of those OVAs that are... It's just what it is as well. Because, however, it's available on Blu-ray from Media Blasters as well. Of course, I have Razafon Volume 1. There is also the complete grant uh, box set of Razafon with all the volumes, and it also includes the movie. I need to get the movie on there and um, the vo one of the remaining volumes of that. There's only five episodes on here, but I have never actually saw the series. But I need to get the the remaining volumes because I have a good proper way to complete this entire series, like Razafon as well. However, this DVD includes a, a booklet like this. Pretty neat. Yeah. There were versions of these in like these box sets separate without the movie. And there's ones with that came with the movie on there. Yeah, because I could put this on the par with how this considered how this series is more different. Aside from uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion as well. In its own certain way as well. Raiders of the Galaxy, I guess you basically have to call this like dollar store anime. Because it's got like a Korean animation on all there. It's basically that they're taking cells from like Japanese shows. And they make their own movie on there. I mean just look at the cover. I, I bought this DVD for the variety of this. For like the, the crazy artwork on that as well. Yeah, because... It looks almost like a repainted version of Great Mazinger on the cover of Raiders of Galaxy DVD. Yeah, because... Yeah, this is basically like... I would call this basically like dollar store anime. This is something that you could find at like um, a dollar store for like only one dollar though. 
But this was on sale when I bought this at a library book sale back in 2018 in um, April, late April, early May 2018, though. I didn't know why I had never knew that this is in a thin pack, DVD thin case on there. Yeah, these, it's one of those how they make in their way through the dollar stores as well. Something you can find out like these $1 DVD bargain bins at Walmart or you can find them at your local dollar stores like Take note, for example, Dollar Tree or 99 Cent Store or Family Dollar any kind, or every other dollar store out there as well. Yeah. Raiders of Galaxy. This is not exact. I thought this was like a name from some random episode from some random anime series. But technically, it's actually a movie. And this wasn't not exactly a... Japanese series. This is actually a South Korean anime relate type series on there. However, this one, in my opinion, it's just that it's so b bad but good type of movies on there. Yeah, they technically they use footage like this for the other movie, like uh, for specific movies, like take a note for example, Space Thunder Kids. Yeah, they used footage from this when they made Space Thunder Kids as well. Particularly. Yeah. Yeah, this is basically the equivalent to the Asylum Entertainment, like, DVDs as well. And we have the good stuff right here that I got in my anime collection that I have right here. We have here is, we have a whole bunch Good, the real deals for good anime. We have a whole bunch of Ranma One Half. This is actually the hands down best series that is based on the manga by Rumiko Takahashi, who is the creator of Inuyasha, Yurisei Yatsura, Maison Ikoku, stuff like that as well. Yeah, this, however, out of all. These are the five of the. These are the remastered ones that I got are on DVD though. Four of these, like seasons two, three, four, and five, came with slip covers. Except season one, when I got this on Amazon, they it never came with a slip cover though. I know I should have got it at uh, Barnes and Noble back in 2014, but you know what I mean though. There were also these Blu-ray sets available though. Most of them were limited edition. Some of them are going out of print. But the other ones you can get are the standard, standalone Blu-rays without the box sets on there as well. However, there's a lot more Ranma One Half produced DVDs. There is a lot of Japanese DVD releases of them, but they're only in Japanese, no subtitles. And there's also some Madman Entertainment release ones in Australia, like the Australian releases on DVD, though. And there's also the Italian DVD releases of Ranma One Half, but it's only released by Dynamic Italia, which is released exclusively in Italy. But these ones I got are all in Region 1, which it has some complete on episodes on here. However, there were versions of these on VHS, but there are only two episodes per volume, whether it's dubbed in English and or in its original Japanese with English subtitles particularly of how I can come across. Because this is something where you want to binge watch on something on here. I do have all eight volumes of season six of Ranma One Half that I'm going to show you what I have right here. In case you're wondering as well. Oh, because I have a lot of them as well because... I have so much Ranma, huh, more Ranma, can't get enough Ranma, huh. more Ukyo and Shampoo and Ryoga, can't get enough Ukyo, Ryoga, or Shampoo, huh, yeah, because I, I had to get, these are the, there were versions of Season 6 on the box set one, like the 2003 release one in a box set version, 
And there's also the remastered, 2014 remastered set on there as well, which I could have upgraded to that. Or not, I'll just keep eight volumes of Season 6 as well, because I thought these are a nice, complete set on there. I got this one recently. Most of these I got were from Amazon Online. Some of them I got were from, like, book sale, um, the uh, local anime specialty stores on here. This one I got was the final volume of Season 6, by the way, because I need to complete this as well. Just like how I completed Rurouni Kenshin Season Sets, which it all has got to me, which is so true. If I'm not mistaken, though, as well. And, of course, I got more volumes of... And this right here is Season 7 of Ranma One Half right here. I got more volumes of them because... Most of these I got were from Amazon Online. Most of them I got were donut, former library copies that I got at a book sale back in 2015, 16. And the other ones I got were from local anime specialty stores. Also, if I'm not mistaken, though. Like, I got volume one, volumes one and two uh, I got were... F Most of them I got were from Amazon Online, though. But the other two right here I got, like... like Volume, what was it? Volume 4 and 5. These are the former library copies that I got at a library book sale back in 2016. The other ones I got were from the anime stores. This one I got was from Amazon Online as well. There is also Season 7 of Rama One Half in a box set one from 2003. And the same with the remastered one from 2015. No, 2014, which I could have upgraded the Blu-ray. Or not, I'll just keep those, because this is a nice volume set on there. This one I got was from a local anime specialty store. This one I got was from Amazon. And this, the final volume, which is volume 8, I got was from a library... This was donated to the former library copy that I got at a library book sale, though. This is all 8 volumes completed. This is the final season of Ranma One Half. The only thing I is missing I need to get is the the OVA set and the first movie, which is Big Trouble in Nekoran China. And although I do have some VHS tapes of Ranma One Half, I have a couple of them I have right here. These were only dubbed in English that are two episodes per volume on the VHSs that are I guess you have to call it the that are part of these Older Viz, older Viz titles from the 90s when they were on VHS, though. Some of them were also dubbed in Japanese with English subtitles. These ones I have right here as well. Because I remember seeing those VHS tapes at a library when I was a kid back in 2005 or 2006, which I remembered as well. And of course, I have three different versions of Rama One Half Nihao My Concubine. The VHS version that I keep it as unplayed, and I have two different versions on the DVD, which I use ex as examples. Which I've done videos like those a while back as well. This one right here is actually a bootleg a Chinese bootleg DVD, where it's mis misspell misspelled as Renma, which is basically this is actually a bootleg DVD which is in English and it's original Japanese, but there's English and Chinese subtitles on here. However, and this one on right there I have is the Viz Media release on DVD, which is in conjunction with Pioneer Entertainment. I got this at a local anime specialty store, by the way, because there's some more special features extras and other previews for other older titles from Viz Media back in the 90s as well. And I do have the VHS right there because I've done videos like those a while back as well. In case you're wondering why. Oh, crap. Never mind, I got it. The only thing I'm still missing is the OVA series and the first Ranma One Half movie. I'll probably get those at one point, like one of these days. Another DVD I have right here is Ray the Animation. This is like a, a side series to Blackjack, which is another anime that is based on the manga by Osamu Tezuka. I do have the OVA Blackjack series one. If you want to go check it out at my previous video on one of my previous videos as well. By the way, this is a Chinese bootleg DVD set. 
in a see-through case like this as well. However, it's only dubbed in um, Japanese, but it has English and Chinese subtitles on there. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken for this as well. Yeah, because I got this because this was on sale as well. And of course, another anime test drive DVD I have here is Record of Lotus War, Chronicles of the Heroic Knight. Another anime test drive DVD release one. There's only two episodes on here. And by the way, this is sealed on there. However, there is also the Cr Record of Lotus War, Chronicles of the Heroic Knight box set on DVD on there. Like... This is like one of those, like, the older Central Park media titles that I had in there as well, because buying some of these, like, as something must be added to your anime collection, though, as well, in case you're wondering for that. And, of course, I have some Robotech DVD sets. This one I have right here is Robotech Macross Saga Legacy Collection 1. This is the broadcast versions of the Robotech series. Yeah, it's taking a series of anthology he's on there of different anime series. Like, the Macross Saga is obviously, might be Super Dimension Fortress Macross on here. However, there was the ADV Films release of the original Super Dimension Fortress Macross so series. Uh, which is not, which is the Japanese version, not the Harmony Gold English dub version, which slapped it in the, with Robo as Robotech on the title, though. However, this DVD set has code name Robotech on here as well. Yeah, these are the original broadcast versions, and there was also the Robotech Protocultures collection set as well. In case you're wondering why. I'm still missing Volume 2 to that as well. And of course, I have Robotech Macross Saga Collection 3. Those are the legacy sets on their, on DVD, by the way, because there is something I have that I got as well. This also included the Robotech 2, The Sentinels, which is the, the movie I have on DVD as well. When I first got this, I thought it never got Robotech the Sentinels, which is the movie. But I was wrong. It does. Which it includes the special commentary track by Carl Masek on there. There's a lot of the extras on this DVD-based content, including character bios, and this as the television series promo as Sentinels as well. Yeah, this is the one you have to look for because this was my lucky day that when I first bought this on DVD back in 2019, I never knew that this came with Robotech 2 The Sentinels because I didn't know about this until now because I had to buy this on DVD particularly because I've always wanted to come across of how I wanted to come by on buying something like for the thing like how Robotech has as well. Yeah, because this all has gotten to me for this as well as think about it. I have just realized wanted to know for the fact of this as well, particularly of what I can know for that as well. Yeah. Pretty cool to have this in your collection as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of, like, the older ADV Films titles. The only thing I need to get is the rest of the Legacy sets, and this also includes the, the movie, which is... And also Love Live Alive, which is the movie on there. In case you're wondering as well. If I can come across but for that as well. Yeah. Because no self-respecting anime fan would it be without those Robotech DVDs I have right here because yeah I had to get this oh and I forgot since I showcase here I'm just gonna put some of these back into the collection as well oh missed a lot more huh 
because just how I can come for the fact as well. Yeah. Oh, I missed some more, huh? I'm going to show you as well. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there's there's some more anime, I, assorted anime I have right here. Here, by the way. Yeah, because I just want to put them in. Yeah, because I have to do a one by one sort of way I'm doing. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I have missed some more right there. Okay, there you go. It's all back onto the shelf. Light magic. Oh, miss some more. Put some anime figures right here. Oops, sorry. There you go. I had to put some right there as well. Missed a few more as well. Put my Naruto Uzumaki figure right here, and my Hinata Hyuga figure. Hold on. There you go. It's all back onto the shelf, like magic when it was earlier in the video. In the video as well. Yeah, because I had to move those figures out of the way. Where I was going to show you some anime I have right here on DVD as well. Yeah. Because that's pretty much how I have as well. Because to spit, considering the fact for this as well, because I have most of these DVDs. Most of them were going out of print though, because I have that are the collector's items those days. Like this one right there is actually my DVD copy of Outlanders, if you could see right there. Because I got this a while back on Amazon back in 2017 in uh, March, it was like $37 online, which I got at, with it because it was like a deal when I bought this as well, because it was actually a good rarity find as well, because I have some of these rare titles as well, like specific ones, for example, like Outlanders, because I'm hoping if Discotech Media could ever get a hold of a Blu-ray release of Outlanders... That would be awesome if this will ever get a Blu-ray release because, what can I say, I love Outlanders. Don't care what anyone says, I love Outlanders, though. However, for the DVD sets of Ronma 1 half, I have all five of the remastered ones, so it's seasons 1 through 5, obviously, and eight volumes of season 6 and 7, which are the last two remaining seasons. All eight volumes of them are all completed, that's why. And that's all I have what I got for today in this video. So that's going to be it for my part five of my anime collection here for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this one. Well, I, we're getting close. I'll be doing part seven of my anime collection, especially this shelf right here. We're going to take a look at that Friday as well. As for my other part of my anime collection... Where, where I have some specific anime like Samurai Champloo, Roni Kenshin, Saint Seiya, um, the Slayers, and stuff like that. Especially on this shelf here. Like, there as well. Which, we're going to be taking a look at that tomorrow. We're almost finishing up on here. 
because I have a feeling we're going to be doing that as well. Hope to subscribe for more content. If you want to click on the subscribe button, especially if you're new to my channel, because I'm basically getting into the Blu-rays, DVDs, and 4Ks as well. Especially if you've ever been watching my channel, though. Because I have been mainly getting into Blu-rays now, especially from World Cinema to, like, Samurai Westerns. Mostly spaghetti westerns and action comedy, especially on from the, the 70s and stuff. For example, like Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer movies, indie movies, cult classics, etc. And all their cool stuff as well. And be sure to smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates on here as well. And also be sure to smack the like button if you enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below on this video if you like this well. And if you click on the share button if you if you want to share this video to your friends as well if you like as well. And just so you know because I had to do this video and keep it otaku for part five of this video because we're getting we're going to be doing part six on uh, tomorrow and we're going to be doing the final part which is part seven of my anime collection Friday because I had to do this video that's why. This is. Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you soon for more videos. Take care. Bye.